What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. You've caught me in the middle of a race. I didn't actually mean to be in this just yet. Well, I did. My audio recording software, basically from my voice, just stopped recording. I didn't press anything, I didn't do anything, it just stopped whilst I was sort of starting the video up. Anyway, welcome back to a brand new video. Welcome to Super Horizon 5, and in today's video, I get to try some of the tunes that you guys have sent me over on the Discord. Um, it's been more than a week, well more than a week, since I've tried them the last time, and as you can see, one of the very first tunes is this. It's for an aerial anim. And let me see what this thing is actually like. I haven't actually tried it. This is the very first time I'll be trying this thing. So this is one of the tunes that you guys have sent me, by the way. And it is very fast. It pulls a 13, what was it, 13.5 on the festival drive strip. 13.4. Now, that was a terrible launch on my part, and I think I can fix that. Let's try that one again. For a mid 900s class car, that is really, really good. I'm also going to change my difficulty for my driver tires to unbeatable. Change this steering. Uh, and I'm going to put my with clutch as well. I don't know if that's going to make much of a difference, but I'm going to do it anyway. Um... So let's give that a shot and try it out now. I'll show you guys the share code as well. I'll actually put it up on the screen because I did show it to you earlier. But yeah, basically this guy sent me this thing and he said it's very, very fast. Pulls away um, and hits something above 250 miles an hour at the festival track strip. Track strip. I mean, you've, you've pretty much seen what it's capable of. Well, it's definitely pulling. And it's won it as well. It's just that first gear launch is bad. I don't know what you've done to it, but it's just not good. It's even slower. Because it tried to short shift. Yeah, your launch your launch setup is, is not good on this car. Maybe it's just really, really light because this thing gets really light. I think it's like 700 kilos or something like that. It's very, very lightweight. Um, But even if you short shift, should I just short shift it to second immediately? Yeah, it just feels strange, because it slips a lot. It slips a lot, and then not only that, but you didn't make the gears long enough. So I'm hitting my limiter as I'm crossing the finish line in fourth. I don't know how you've done this tune. It, it's just... You can get this thing to be faster. I guarantee you, you can get this thing to be a little bit faster. Than what you've done here. It's just that launch that kills it, in my opinion. I think that you could do better with the launch. I'm going to try to see if I can control my, my throttle. See the amount of slip that it has. It has to go all the way up to 90 miles an hour before I can actually change gear. Well, when I should be changing gear. But it just doesn't rip up. Maybe it's the tires, maybe it's whatever, but... Even second has a little bit of slip. And not only that, but you can hear it when I'm hitting limiter in fourth. See what I mean? Like, you should make your gears just so they're slightly, slightly longer than the finish line for the, the race. So, your gears are too short. Um, or your, whatever, your final drive is too short. So, I'm not hitting my speed that I need to, to hit. And if you're saying change it to fifth... I mean, if I change it to 5th, it's like right before the finish line, so it, it doesn't really make sense for me to do that. It should be way before that. Yes, it's a fast car, and I know that the aerial is a fast car, but I feel like you... You messed it up. I'm going to try to change gears now into 5th. I short shifted there, but like even even the first gear launch is just bad. I want to try and fix this tune. I want to try see if I can get it faster than what was it fourteen or thirteen point four five or something like that, whatever it was. I'll give it a like because it's not bad. But <clears throat> like I said, I honestly think that this could be a better tune. Let me try see if I can fix your tune for you, just to see what can I actually do to to make this better. Because like I said, I know that this thing is fast. Yes, I know. It'll get rid of all the upgrades. 
So I know that the uh, the engine is this. I know that that's the engine you have on. Obviously, also change it to all-wheel drive. And you... It's not turbocharged? Oh, it is, I guess. But I guess it just doesn't count it. Get rid of the arrow, because you don't need it. For drag racing. It's literally just... You, you're causing drag, so there's no point in doing that. Uh, putting the drag tire compound on. You also had, I think, the... Was it the Mickey Thompson wheels? I don't know which ones he had on. Um, but they're in this class, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there you go. Oh, they're the well racing wheels. So we'll put the same wheels that he had on as well. Um, wheel size, I'm not going to change at all. I hate how laggy this stupid thing is. There's a 10 speed for whatever reason. I don't know. It, did he use a 10 speed? I mean, he brings the class down slightly, but I mean, it doesn't make a difference at all. I don't know if he did or not. I'm going to put that one on. Regardless. I mean, you don't really need to. I, even if I keep this thing as stock. Which one's lighter? Just just keep it stock, I'm pretty sure. Keep it as stock is probably the best best way to do it. Because it, it, it makes it um, the lightest it possibly can be. Uh, the diff, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to buy the off-road diff because it locks the wheels. Anyway. Uh, doesn't actually change the actual weight or anything of it at all. Off-road suspension. Um, is a cage? I don't know. Uh, oh, that's probably one of my tunes that I've had on this car before, actually. Thinking back on it now. And then now I just slap on as much power as I possibly can. Uh, unfortunately, you can't actually get the wheels to be wider. But like I said, that surely there is a way for your wheels to grip up properly. And if there isn't, you can make it so you instantly shift into second. But for him, for that, that setup that he had on, was just too... There you go. So 947 is the same as his, pretty much. Um... In class, but now I'm gonna have to mess with my own tune and have a look and see if I can beat his is 13.4 or whatever it was. So give me give me like five minutes. Well, obviously for you it's just gonna cut to the video changing, but yeah, one sec. All right, it's my first attempt at my tune. I want to see if it's any good. It was literally the first launch I've ever done with this guy. This is my very, very first attempt. <laughs> it's 12.9. <laughs> See what I mean? See what I mean? It's so easy to beat. You just gotta work on your gears, mate. Don't... Uh, people... What people do a lot of the time, in my opinion, and what I think happens is... They look at this little graph at the bottom left. Where it says... Wait, what am I think? My, to my, my top speed changed to 164 miles an hour. Or 264. That wasn't it. It was 254 miles per hour. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Where the acceleration of speed is, where people look at the 0 to 60 or the 0 to 100, they look at that a little bit too much, and it's not very realistic when it comes to the actual game. And I mean, like, it's not reflective of how the car actually handles. So watch, I'm going to stretch out my first gear a little bit more. Have my gears lined up like this. I don't need it to be that fast. See, my 0 to 100 has now gone up. But I want to try C now. Uh, with less slip, what it's like. First gear is going to have less uh, less slip, so it should grip up a little bit better now. And even if it doesn't, see what I mean? It's just so much better. It just is. Twelve point nine one one. So. The deal is that you don't really have to worry about what it says, the 0 to 60 or 0 to 100. You drive your car up and down all the time to try and see if you can get yourself a good setup. I'm going to stretch my first gear out even more. I want to try to get as little slip as I possibly can. And then second and third, I'm trying to make it so they're, they're lined up in a way... <clears throat> or sorry, second, third and fourth, uh, lined up in a way where I can change gears and they have, they're basically sitting in the perfect torque curve. So they have the perfect amount of torque all the way through. And that was a good run. That was a good run. First gear barely had any slip. And just like that, I'm in the 12.8. And I'll significantly go faster and faster the more I mess around with this thing. And the more I change little bits and pieces, maybe have to, you know, the tires in the front, maybe I can go ahead and bring the tire pressure up on these. Uh, bring it up to maybe about, let's, let's try 30. Uh, PSI here, 
uh, and we'll see what that's like. You know, a little bit, a little bit less uh, resistance for the front tires if I bring the PSI up. Most of the power is going to the rear wheels now. I think it's like seventy-five percent all going to the rear. So that's slight resistance on the front being gone. Could probably get this thing maybe another, I don't know, hundredth of a second, tenth of a second, whatever. There you go, 775. See what I mean? Like, bits and pieces like that, even if the 0 to 100 or the 0 to 60 doesn't change. If you keep doing, like, runs over and over again, it's just so easy to build your cars and to get them to be faster and faster and faster. So, the tune that you sent me isn't bad. I'm not going to call it bad, because it's not bad. But, you can see how easy it is to tune your cars and to get them to be faster or better or, you know, whatever. Um, just from moving little bits and pieces on on the suspension or the tires or the gears stuff like that always make your first gear especially not slip or have as little slip as you possibly can as the car possibly can when you get to the point where your car actually bogs down and what i mean by that i'll show you guys right now is as soon as you make your first gear a little bit too long if i show you guys this so i'm gonna stretch out my gears just a little bit longer we'll do this right just just for the sake of the video i'll do that maybe my gears will end up now looking like this um, this first gear should be too long so now when I accelerate it should bog down so it should rev up and then die pretty much see what I mean like how slowly it started accelerating yes it didn't have any slip but my first gear just sort of kind of died and then it accelerated very very slowly up because the first gear was just too long so when you get to that point where it bogs down then you start dialing first gear back more and more and more just bring it back a little bit so it's not as long, shorten it, uh, up till you, you get to the point where you have just the tiniest bit of slip. When you have the tiniest bit of slip, then you, you know you're good to go and you can move on to something else, um, like, you know, let's say your spring rate or stuff like that. See, these you can mess around and you can change a lot. Uh, this you can kind of look, once you have your gearing set up properly, um, then your springs, you can mess around and see where your 0 to 100 might go, if it's going to be a little bit quicker, if it's going to be a little bit slower. For now, this is pretty much what I've been messing around with, and I, that's kind of what I got for the springs. The differential, again, is pretty much looking like this. 79% of the power going to the rear wheels. You can change it up or down. Again, there's so many little minute changes. On this, like I said, in that first run that I've done, was literally the first run that I've done. I just added like a basic setup that I thought was going to be decent on this car, and that's the run that I've done. Uh, there's still so many things that I can change on this car right now, but I'm not going to go into detail because that's not what this video is about. There's so many things that I could change into this car to make it go even faster than what you've seen it now. So, um, that's pretty much it for the Aerial Atom. Thank you for the tune. It wasn't bad, but I think that it could still be better uh, as I've just proven it to you. Anyway, let's move on to someone else's tune. See what they've got. Now, a brand new car that we have in the game is the Lamborghini Sian. Now, the Lamborghini Sian uh, is a car that we've got very recently, which is right here. Um, now, the one that I have now, I think I've just slapped a stupid amount of power to it and just tried to see what it was like. And this was in one of the previous videos that I've messed around with. Obviously, if you guys have seen it. Um, but if you guys didn't know, with the stock suspension, this thing actually has rear wheel steering. And this guy gave me a tune that is for S1 Road Grip Tune, basically. And he says it's competitive, in his opinion. So, is it competitive? Let's give it a shot. Let's see if it actually is competitive. So, let's change over to his tune. I'm going to do couple of runs um wait what am i doing i'm gonna do a couple of runs with this thing just to see if he's correct 127 655 894 now, some of the people on my discord said that it's a good car but it's not very competitive um this guy says it is competitive so we'll see what that's like uh drift tire compound and all-wheel drive race suspension it's probably a drift tire compound because of its its class you wanted to keep it at the top of s1 so that's pretty much why uh, it's a little bit lighter than what mine was, and it obviously has a, a significantly less power because it's not it's not at the top of S2. Um, okay, so this is pretty much what it looks like. Obviously, the arrow and stuff like that on it is uh, is making it look very ridiculous. I th really don't know what those wheels are. Those are disgusting wheels, so I'm not going to be... Um, I don't really care for those. Um, but let's bring it over to Rivals event and see what it's actually like. Um, we could probably bring it around this circuit here because this is like a very basic circuit that we mess around with many many times before with many different cars and again just to see how competitive it actually is compared to some of the other cars so the viper obviously is the fastest one that i have here um and i'm gonna go ahead and select myself as my ghost 
and uh, we'll see what it's like against the Viper. Let's just let's just put it that way. I don't think it's gonna be anywhere near the Viper, but I'm gonna try it anyway just to see if uh, if it's close enough. Those are awful wheels, by the way. Why did you put those wheels on it? Those are disgusting. <laughs> it just reminds me of like uh, was it the Janelle wheels or whatever it's called? Giovanna wheels, those as well. Oh my god. Yes, some some terrible wheels. Okay. Oh, I'm in manual clutch. I don't want to play with it because I don't like it. Don't like manual with clutch on the controller. Lots of people are saying it's like, why don't you just drive it? Just get used to it. Why don't you just shut the hell up? I don't take this game this seriously. Could be playing manual with clutch. Okay, brakes are good. Turn in. A little sluggish, a little slow. I mean, it still changes gears quickly, so I don't really have to worry about that, but... Um... I don't know. I don't really like the turn in. Yeah, that turn in is... Who? <laughs> what is that? Why does this take about 10 years to turn in? Why does it feel like that? It is definitely faster than the Viper in a straight line, but. Okay, that was horrendous. It just feels odd. I did also break very, very late there, so that's not really mind that one. I don't know why the turn in is so slow on it. Maybe it's the tires? Yeah, I cannot take that corner the way that Viper can. <laughs> There's no hope in hell. Look how slow I have to go around these corners. Okay, there has to be a specific track for this. Yeah, there has to be a, a very specific track for this for me to be able to to go around it and be competitive with this car. One that doesn't have a lot of corners. This thing struggles around these corners, man. Like, I can't even put the power down. I'm, like, slowly easing on the throttle just so I can get it to turn. It's just the tiniest bit, but... Jesus. Yeah, it's... Maybe it is competitive, but not on this track. 100%. It just doesn't turn. I, like, tried to have faith in it that it's actually going to turn, and it just doesn't do it. Okay, let me change track real quick here, just to see if I can get one of these. One of these tracks to be to be good for this car. Because there has to be at least at least one track here in the Rivals events. Because this guy didn't actually say. He said it's competitive. Uh, but, like, is it, though? <laughs> is it? Let's have a look. Some of these events here. Something that doesn't have maybe a lot of really tight corners like this one does. Um, maybe this one could be okay. Uh, I guess this one definitely not. Look at circuit has, I mean, a, a good few corners here. This is probably one of them that I don't see it being that bad on. It's still not great. Yeah, none of these really stand out to me. This one maybe, but this one also has like a bunch of really tight corners. Maybe a sprint race. Again, it still has a bunch of tight corners. It just, I don't see it. I just don't see it. I don't see it being good. I'll try this one. I'll try Playa Azul. Even though I, I still don't see this thing being very competitive. It just turns in very, very slowly. It's just really sluggish. I, I don't, I don't get it. 
It's definitely the, the way you built the car, because even with, um, with four-wheel steering, it's still not that bad. When you're driving this thing regularly, it's actually not too bad. I'm going to change the same thing just to see if that helps it a little bit, maybe. But I don't see how this is a competitive build. Let's have a little bit of a, a, little bit of a run up. A tiny bit of heat in those tires as well. I don't know if this is just... Okay, I don't know if this is... Just a placebo effect or whatever, but it actually seems so much better with sim steering. Oh my god, it actually seems so much nicer with some staring on. Maybe the corners aren't as tight as well on this track, obviously, because it's kind of why I picked it. Okay, it still goes wide. Significantly wide. But for the tire corners, it actually feels pretty nice. It's just the tiniest tap of the wall there. That's not too bad. that bad yeah it's it's definitely better than what it was before without sim steering so there you go if you want to drive this car put on sim steering definitely use sim steering with this car And then just sort of ease on the power as well when you're driving it. Try to smash into anything here, <laughs> which is kind of hard to do. In this car. Jesus, I've actually beat my personal best on this. I don't think I'm anywhere near top 1000 or anything like that. But that isn't too bad. Okay, sim steering definitely fixes this car. Definitely fixes it a lot more. Um, it seemed so much worse with normal steering than it is now with sim steering. So if you are driving this thing and you're trying to make it seem as if it is like competitive, definitely use sim steering on it. Um, let's see where I am in the world with this thing because I feel like I'm not really that fast in S1. Um, but it seems fairly quick, pretty competent as well, driving around those corners. It has a very good amount of power. I think power power is very good with this guy, especially for S1. Um, it's just it's just the handling just feels just the tiniest bit like sluggish. Very 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 slightly sluggish. All right, one sec. Let's have a look at where I am in the world. I'm gonna say like 2,500 in the world on this event because I don't think I've done I've done top 1,000 on this before for S1. Or try to anyway, I don't remember if I have or not. And apply a zoom, select that, go to S1. Click that little button. Let's have a look. 7,000, so there you go. I'm nowhere near top of 1,000 with this thing. Um, Yeah, it's it's not as competitive as, as people, or as this guy make, made it out to be. Yeah. If you're saying competitive, you're, you're supposed to be putting it up against the XJR and the Viper and stuff like that. And the Lotus Elise. Which is just, it, it isn't up there just yet. Well, there you go. Um, yeah, if you want to drive this thing, definitely drive it with sim steering. Um, but it's definitely not competitive. I don't think so, anyway. It doesn't seem to be. Even for online races, I feel like S1, comp like competitive S1 means it should go head to head with the Viper. That's what should make it competitive, you know. Not me being 7,000 in the world on, on an event with it. That's not very competitive. Alright, anyway, that is pretty much it. Thank you for the tunes, everybody. If you have any other tunes that you guys would like me to try or any future videos, then of course, get your share code and put it over on the Discord. And I'm definitely down to try them in any of the future videos. But for now, that's pretty much it. Hopefully, I helped with the tune main bit, I guess, of the, the drug car. And then, let's see with this thing. 
it's uh, we found out that it's not actually very competitive. So the rest of the people in my Discord were actually right in saying that this wasn't. It's a cool car, but it's not very competitive. Um, but yeah. Anyway, that's it, everybody. I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everyone.